Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Limbus Company. We are back. Back and ready for more. Uh, hopefully, well, I say hopefully. I don't know how much longer this chapter has, but hopefully we can knock out the last of chapter two today, though. That's the plan, at least, unless that's impossible. We'll see. After a series of scuffles, we relieved the Tintang gang of their outfits and made our way into the casino. This time, we'll succeed for sure. Yeah, definitely. Also, you may have noticed that I have a lot less, uh, a lot less Enka Valen this time than I did last time. It was pointed out to me in the comments that there's really no point in stockpiling it like a dragon horde like I had been doing because we can generate more of it. And it's better to just, like, convert it and then let it drain. And then as we play, just let it build up. And I think that's a, I think that's a good idea. It also helps to kind of, in, in a way, set a, an in-game timer for how long these episodes are going to be. So, yeah, it's totally fine. But I think we're ready. I hope that you all are having a nice day so far. Mine has been fairly uneventful. But, you know, on some days, that ain't so bad. The casino could best be described as busy. Excessively cheery sounds blared from slot machines. The lights were so bright that some of our sinners had to cover their eyes. The security guards took note of our garish outfits and gave us, uh, to give us a customary nod. Sod and Effie, dressed as croupier, uh, discreetly nodded at us as they accompanied Rodia to the casino's cage. I was amazed by their ability to feign expertise, from the way they carried themselves to the facial expressions they made, few would have doubt that they were longtime employees. What? What manner of sorcery are these dazzling contraptions? Try not to go saucer right at everything like a fascinated kid, Don Quixote. It'll seem fishy. I guess here look dead inside with their dim eyes, and they smell worse than the tinting schmucks we faced. They even wash. I don't think they'd be too happy about you holding your nose right before their faces, Ishmael. But this is the kind of bilgy stench I'd only ever caught from deckhands. Fortunately, most of them were too focused on the machines to care about what we were doing. Manager Esquire, have you seen such a thing? What must I do to hear the jolly bells as the other patrons are? I don't think I've been to one of these places before, so I wouldn't know. Looking at the flashy symbols and numbers spinning had... Uh, looking at all the flashy symbols and numbers spinning had slowly eroded my resolve to act as the part of Stern Manager. I guess a little peek is fine. It says here to press the button. Is pressing it what one ought to do? I swear upon, uh, I swear upon my minute and hour hands that I had no intention to press that button. Absolutely none. The hand I'd swiftly asked Tress to stop Dead Quixote from Prachi Machine unexpectedly fumbled and landed smack on the button. Yikes. And in an unpredictable series of coincidences, someone had left a token in it. Enough for one game. The reels started spinning under fanfare. We could only watch the chain events unfolded. By the way, I hope Dante handles the wish stickers we took from the Tintin gang with care. Bad manager? It was the only favor we asked of them. They'd better be doing a good job. You can count on Dante, dear duo. They're one of the few sensible pals who gets what's up. That's good to hear. With so many sheets attached, they should be able to win any game with ease. Oh God. We just need to be careful not to draw attention here. Jackpot! The players next to us stare with jaws dropped so far that their chins can touch the floor. Waves of casino chips plunged from the machine, so many that I wouldn't dare to try to gather them up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Effie, Sod. I came here determined to do something right, and it fell apart all so soon. 
A jackpot? What machine is it? Just like that. No warning. Right now. Oh god. A moment, please. Let me just check your ID. What's with the aggro? Is it a crime to win at the big at the casino? Chance in this place doesn't work the way we think it usually does. You could accumulate your luck for a big payout or trickle in small amounts to break even. But winning the jackpot on your first try should be a literal impossibility here. Chips are raining down like shooting stars. I had hoped you of all people would have a sense of responsibility. Yet all it took was Don Quixote's siren plea for you to give in. I'm disappointed. You're none other than our manager, and I expected you to show your cap capability and clear the disgrace of failure from us. Ishmael's barrage of scathing whispers was something to marvel at, as Gregor muttered in awe. Muttered in awe. On top of that, her piercing gaze I had never felt before. It made me want to weasel away under a rock, if there were one. For once, I thanked my clock for lacking eyes to meet her glare. Some god. Uh, now hold on, that might not be our only problem. Gregor was fretfully looking in every direction until he stopped to point at the shocking discovery he just made. And where he pointed. Oh god. How long have you been off your disguise, Ryoshu? Was a sullen Ryoshu wearing the same clothes she'd always worn? I don't put on others' discarded clothing. Ugh, manager bud, today is not our day, huh? Yep, looks like we're screwed. Royally. This can't be. All the work we did to put this plan in motion. Faust, what were you thinking volunteering to bring these fools along for your missions? You're supposed to have near unparalleled brilliance, right? Then use it. Even though I haven't worked with them for long, I was able to realize something. I ought to become a Faust that believes in uncertainty. When the lack of a plan becomes a plan, all variables become constants. That is what my plan entails. <sighs> Faust turned to me with a tranquil face. Thanks to her, my role right now became clear. Alright, it's time for our usual gig. Let's kill and be killed. Oh god. Alright, so, great plan, guys. We just go in and kill everyone. Every person until you make it to the top floor. This is going to go perfectly, I can already tell. All right, team. Let's show them what we're made of, shall we? Ooh, all right, you got this, team. Good hit. Okay, this is not going too hot for us. We got two staggers, it's great. So 
So I was given a bit of useful advice and uh, information about Ishmael's thing, which is that at the start of combat, all the charges are used for her red skill, not at the use of the skill. So if we were to use this right now on this turn, she would not use 10 after we use this first. She would use 9, which is extremely good to know because I was not aware of that. Do I want to use an ego? We could. Not really a need to, but fuck it, why not? Why not? Staggered, very nice. Good kill. Good hit. Great. Well done. Good roll. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That guy's almost dead. That guy's dead. Great job. Good roll. Oh my god. Oh my god. Going ham right now. Okay. Let's get this shit over with. Well done. Okay. Easy. Okay. A performance. Our newfound determination is swept away in a torment to glitter, along with our backup plan. There are plenty of obstacles to overcome, particularly the security guards have just noticed us. Okay, we got this. You got this, team. You got this. I can't stand watching this charade. How much time are you going to waste fighting those small fries? It's often the case that grumbling people don't have a clear solution to contribute. Okay. Listening to Ishmael's disapproval, Ryushu shook her head and assumed a confident look. This is art. Poetaster, give me the knife. You may forever take it from my hands. The blade will be better off parting ways to wander about the air for however long. Fuck for however long. Thank. Rusha held his dagger and threw it straight in the air. It struck an anchorage on the ceiling that kept the chandelier still, causing it to sway precariously. Indeed, Rusha may have weakened from maybe weakened from what she once was because she, because she became a sinner, but nevertheless. She was the best swordsman we had, able to cut through steel like a proverbial in the hot knife. Sure, she treats my words with less respect than she would with a wad she would a wad of gum, but that wasn't a problem. Everyone's eyes turned to the swinging chandelier. And eventually, flustered by all the gazes falling upon it. <laughs> thus, in a haze, it succumbs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch out! The chandelier crashed to the floor in full force, making a tremendous noise. And that's just all it did. Nothing else happened. Both parties were left staring at this fallen light structure in the middle of the floor. Uh, what was that for, Ryoshu? A performance. You just made that up, didn't you? Still, I'm glad none of us were hurt. We'll have to see about that. Okay, well, time for more fights.
I'm going to be so disappointed if this arena doesn't have a chandelier in the middle of it. Oh my god, it does! <laughs> All right. We're just beating the shit out of these guys. Good lord. Good hit. Nice. Okay. Could roll a little better, but sorry. Right. Uh. Alright, that guy's dead. Nice. Oh my god, leave Ryoshu alone. She's about to die. We should have a whole other wave after this. Good hit. Alright, well done, team. Okay. I think we're getting our asses beat. I didn't look at any of the clashes, but that's okay. Good damage, good damage. Nice. Alright, so we traded staggers, that's alright. Good hit. Okay. Can't believe that guy at the bottom is not dead. We are sure he's dead. Okay. There's no way you lose this. Oh, nice roll. Good kill. Thank you. Good kill. Nice. Great damage. Okay, he's dead. Nice job. Nice job, team. Nicely done. Just to make sure. You all know that our goal is to win the game being held on the top floor, not reduce the ground floor of the casino to rubble, right? I was certain. Uh, I was certain that some definitely didn't know or care, but I figured I'd rather not remind her. Not only must we reach must we reach the top, we also have to win the game as our objective states. Thus, we need the wish power to make it happen. 
어처구니 없는 이유로 한꺼번에 물거품이 되어버렸다는 이야기는 굳이 언급하지 않겠습니다. 마음만 아플 뿐이니까요. I won't bother reviewing in detail how the wish power we had managed to collect went down the drain for preposterous reasons. It'll only hurt our morale. I had to keep my head down, feeling the prick of conscience poking at my heart. Where can we secure the most wish power in this place? That roulette next to the entrance. People who visit the casino try their daily luck using that roulette, and take or yield wish power depending on the outcome. Is that so? Then I'll seek out an opportunity to snatch the container attached to it. Think you can pull that off? I have carried out countless operations much greater in scale. Your preposterous blunder amounts to nothing in the grander scheme of things, manager. It has to have been the fault of the drudging dredges who obfuscated your ability to make sensible decisions. Don't let their words deter you. Preposterous. I see. Wait. While well, we were busy discussing backup plans, Heathcliff was already making him head dash for the entrance. We were too focused on the conversation, or did we collectively lose our minds? In either case, neither of us had a clue what we was up to. Heathcliff? <laughs> Damn it. Isn't it time we stopped chatting and moved up already? Then he shouted at security from the top of his lungs. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? That blondie over there is a rookie who's as blood flesh as he gets. And that mate there we call our manager has a bad case of lost memories and can't wield a weapon to save themselves. This is what you're struggling against. What a joke. Damn you. <laughs> Heathcliff, that, that was too harsh. Here, here. Much too mean, Heathcliff. And last thing. That club you're holding deserves a better owner. You cocky little. The infuriated security guards were on the club with a furious swish, exploding toward Heathcliff. And as Heathcliff swerved out of his way, the roulette behind him bore the force, smashing it to pieces. The, the wish container. Spouts of what I assume was once wish power until moments ago poured through the poor remains of that roulette. As if in death throes, Sot let out an agonized scream before clapping her hands over her mouth. I couldn't help but turn away from this tragic sight. When I grow up, I want to be a wish sticker, giving hope to everybody. I could almost hear the unfulfilled dreams of those lost wishes in my imagination. Yeah. Oi, listen up, you thickos. Do you want to admit to your boss about breaking this thing while fighting us and get lambasted for it? Or do you want to make it our fault and let us through? This... this was a month's worth of luck. Won't be any safe before you upstairs. Eh, never been too close to uh, never been too close to safety anyways. Appreciate the advice. He took came to me with one of his shoulders dislocated, likely when he was grazed by the club. What's the look? Do your thing and fix me up. I've made up my mind. Starting now, I won't ever try to discuss plans or anything similar with these people. Took you long enough to realize. Faust, this is one of those times when it's better to keep your mouth shut. With that, we dragged ourselves to the next floor. Alrighty. We got this. Well done, team. Well done. Oh, we're going up now. Interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it, it makes sense. 
because we traveled through the city and then we made it to the casino and now we're going up the casino. How cool. Well, we reached the second floor. It makes me dizzy imagining what trouble awaits. To battle team. To battle. The atmosphere here seems rather different. It appears that another syndicate has taken hold of this floor. Hey, Oigen, what's with all the doom and gloom you're wearing on that face of yours? Don't you know the rules here? Sarah looks or a no no, so put a hat over your long face. Why do you say that while looking at me? I will sink on you. What is that? <laughs> Snap your neck completely, that's what. Easy, Roshu, you shouldn't be so prone to starting fights. Eh, yeah, never mind that. This one has to be an even more problematic face, no? Which hand is supposed to be your eyes? Ryoshu, are you ready? You bet, Dante. Okay. Very funny, very funny. Loving the humor of this game a lot. They definitely took all the funny, funniest parts of dialogue in the last two games and were like, let's just make that the whole game. And honestly, I'm loving it. All right, fuck them up. No, them, not us. You're getting your asses kicked. Okay, try that again. I just now realized that these say on them whether it's better or worse. I literally didn't know that until just now. I've, I've always been looking up here. No, it, it tells you down here if it's better or worse. I didn't know that till just now. I'm such an idiot. Oh well, the more you know, I suppose. Oh my god, Ryoshi's about to die. We're one turn in. We're two turns in. We have two waves to go. Eat. Okay. Fuck him up. Please, team, you're getting your asses kicked. Why is this going so poorly? Good stagger, but you're probably all gonna die before it makes any difference. You're at five health. We have a whole other wave. All right, team. Good kill. Sorry, Ishmael, but you're probably gonna die. Big hit. Big hit. Oh my god, crazy. Ryosho going insane right now. Good damage. Good damage. Good hit. Good kill. Okay, finish your job. That sucks. We have to use it. All right, whatever. It's a good thing we have enough energy, I guess. Good kill. God damn. We have a whole other round to go. Okay. Well, let's have you repost. Eep. 
God, all right, let's pray for the best here, I guess. It's unfortunately gonna be a roll of the dice. Not my favorite thing in the world, but. Alright, it's pretty good. A lot of damage. Big hits. You are killing it right now, Otis. Okay, good. We hit the bad guy. Great. Ah, oh, you just lost, like, all your attacks. It's alright, though. I'm sorry, Ryoshu. It's always her. It's always her. I know it's because her passive makes her take more damage or whatever, but... It's alright. Good kill. Good damage. Good stagger. Another good kill. Alright, finish the job. Well done, team. Well done. Ooh, okay. Leveled up. Great. Thank you, Fallon was refilled. Excellent. Ugh. Let that sink in. Alright. We encountered another syndicate that has a stake in this casino. Let's hop to it, team. Oh. Just another fight. Alright. Well... Every time, it's always Rio. She always gets her ass beat. It's just so much damage, though. I really just need to uptie her once I get more threads, but I don't want to spend any of our things because I want to be able to redeem for some of those egos and stuff. That sucks a little bit. You're alright, though. It's alright. Okay, never mind. Good hit. Oh, okay. Oh my god, half our team is staggered. Good hit. Good hit. Okay. A lot of damage. Great job. That guy's dead. Goodbye. Good hit. Somehow our team is still alive. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Good kill. Alright, we have a whole other round, team. A whole other round. Okay. You guys got this. Big hit. 
Big hit. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. Your hang in. Mokjagi sat. Good stagger. If we're lucky we'll get a kill this scene. That was a huge roll. Great. Great. Wow, you guys are killing it right now. Oh my god, 32 damage is insane. Somehow she's still alive at 2 HP. Somehow Faust always ends up with, like, max HP. Not sure how that keeps happening, but I am not complaining. Everybody should die by the end of this, but if not, we have an ego to bolster the damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Rodia is dead. She just straight up died. Good damage. Good damage. Okay, they're all dead. Seventy-five damage. That's insane. Wow, great job, team. Well done. Great job. Making me proud. Okay. Well done, well done. I think we have time for one more. The enthusiasm is a start is in stark contrast to the atmosphere just floor below. One can find a series of unknown musical instruments on every table. What are they for? Alright. Got this team. <laughs> ah, not again! <laughs> I lost once again. Damn. When will this end? Oh, hey, spare a time out. Our dear customer here needs a little care. Dear customer, I hope you haven't forgotten our rule, have you? That was all the money I had. If you keep dampening the mood of the table, we might throw a panyata party out of you. Panyata party? Uh, what's a panyata party? I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Pressured by gentle intimidation, the weeping guests stood up from their seats, and then, being handed a pair of maracas from the staff, they started dancing, sobbing all the way. What's this now? As a rule, every visitor to this floor must follow. When a tradition mariachi, if you will. Gambling is entertainment, an activity done purely for fun. Thus, all the sadness and pain brought to you must be sub sublimated into dance. Allow this night to demonstrate what dancing is about. Alas, they were harsher judges than they seemed. This one won't do. Her movement is insincere. What on earth do you mean? Dance is a window to the heart. Without a clear and pure heart, it loses all meaning. I find thine assessment rather disgracious. This is getting further out of hand. What are you doing, Saud? Oh, I was writing our letter of apology in advance. Okay, fair enough. Alright, time to kick the shit out of some more people. If it'll load. There we go. 
Oh, five of them and two waves. Oh my God, we're gonna lose. Okay, team. That was a horrible first round. Brody is already about to die. And so is Otis. Jesus Christ. Good damage, please. Good stagger. Okay. I mean, you could use it again. Save it for... Well, you might die, though. May as well use it while we have it, right? I didn't realize you would use it on this. Okay, yeah, never mind. That guy's most assuredly dead. I guess let's save the rest of those for next wave because they're about there's about to be another wave so that was a lot of damage good job great damage okay well done now is when things get scary Good roll. Good roll. Okay, of course, you get a two. Nice. 23 is pretty fucking good. Nice, but I get a 10 and 7. It's always, it's always how it be. During the clash, it's always the highest roll until it comes to damage, and then it's not. Oh well. You got a stagger, I suppose. Nice. I want to use your ego. I don't remember if I have or not. So I guess we're gonna find out and see if we have. See if I remember it or not. Okay, I have used it. I just don't remember it. Eleven damage. That sucked. Good damage. Good kill. Nice, great job. Hey, good kill. All right, two guys left. Let's 
신속히 처리하자 Good damage. Okay, that sucks. Your h a n g i n m o k j a g i s a t Alright, good kill. Nice job, team. Somehow you all lived. I'm very impressed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. As absurd as it sounds, if we want to leave this floor early, we're going to need to touch their hearts with a powerful dance. As you all know, my memories are hazy, so dance is it? Can't say I'm all too familiar. Amnesia came in handy as an excuse to opt out of things at times like this. Of course, I haven't actually forgotten what dance is, but there's no need to be too honest about it, is there? Say, h o n g Lu, you taking dance lessons or anything? I learned a little b e y o n d l a n I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. Though I only had three instructors teaching me. To perform it, I'll need a few masks, fans, makeup, and... Yeah, we aren't going to find them here. Next. I'm not going to find them here. Next. I'm not going to find them here. Well, I did step on a good few feet of snobbish aristocrats at bowls. My inner voice expresses fear. Me? I spent half my life on a ship. Dance is where I... Cease this relentless obstruction of my words. A sword dance for the first time in a while doesn't sound bad. I'll kill it on the floor. Though the only beats I have danced to throughout my life were morning exercise programs during roll call. If the manager so demands, I will immediately see to it that. Dante, I have done all the other things, but the dance is so unnatural. Well, Dante, I'm good at most things, but my dancing is kind of embarrassing. Paris, w a g e n g n e s o q u a n g e t e l m o r i t o n y a n g t u l c i n a s u i t a n o p e u m u n j o s I don't mind, except my arm might rage out of control from the simulation, uh, from the stimulation and charge for the audience's heads. Faust doesn't. Faust doesn't necessarily enjoy dancing for leisure, but I could gladly perform a routine if it's for the mission's sake. However, it's not technical perfection they want. They're looking for something unstable and unpolished. Rather... Sinclair! Sinclair! God! What? Oh my god. You busted a move or two as a kid, didn't you? B bust? I suppose I took a basic maracas course at school as a liberal arts class. Came from a rich family too. How'd you figure that out, Rodia? I can tell from the way he walks and talks. On the other hand, uncultured ones, <laughs> it shows, you know. Rodia quietly giggled while looking at Heathcliff, then snuck up behind Sinclair to wrap her arms around his shoulders. Okay, now, my little Sinclair, I have a very, very important task for you. Uh, uh, hey, Rodia, where are you? Moments later, Sinclair solemnly walked onto the stage. Sinclair, you can do this. 
디스클리프 저인간한테 당하기만 했던 지난 날을 되새기면서. Yeah, think of all the times when Heathcliff trampled over you. 저, 저는. I, I'm. Sinclair turned to Rodia, still looking anxious. 정말 제가 나서도 되는 걸까요? Am I really able to do this? 아니지, Sinclair. Wrong question, Sinclair. 오로지 너만이 할수 있는 거야. This is something only you can do. He returned to determine not. <laughs> the wrist rocking. That pensive expression. Restrained rhythm. Perfection. It's calm. It is the calmness that stirs my heart. This young man, he's channeling something from within. How sublime. He is fighting repressed darkness and inner turmoil with the body's motion. Oh. Oh, the embers linger in glowing ash, heating the rhythm. Her gestures to be struck along. This conjures an image, one of a bonfire that has burned through the whole night, and we are witnessing the, the cotillion of ash dancing atop his remnant. Sorry, what? <laughs> Young man, won't you consider joining us? You have the potential to grow big. <laughs> That boy belongs to our company. You should know that siphoning valuable talent from their current employment without permission is a serious crime. Just a few hours ago, Sinclair was the only moron in our band. Wait. Just a few hours ago, Sinclair was only one moron in our band of blunderheads. Now he's been elevated to the company's valuable asset. <laughs> What a fine performance. You wish to get to the top floor, right? You may pass. Oh, you've earned the right. Be warned, though. The folks upstairs won't be as reasonable. They have no concept of festivity in their heads. Nicolai came back to us with an invigorated look. The things welling up inside me. This is what it was about. It makes me wonder why I thought it would be hard. I feel much more comfortable now. I was curious to know whether the inner struggle he'd expressed through dance had touched uh, that had touched the wait. I was curious to know the inner struggle he'd expressed through dance that had touched the syndicate to their core, and what kind of hardship a young gentleman like him could have gone through. But those questions could wait for now. We headed upstairs to the third floor. All right, that is probably going to be it for this episode. As soon as this finishes loading. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, yes, we will save that for next time. With that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.